everyone, it's Mindy from MommyMouseClubhouse.com and in this video I'm going to show you day one on our back-to-back -back Disney cruise on the Disney Wish. Make sure to check out the tour of the Newport Suite at Disney's Beach Club that we stayed in the night before the cruise. That video will be linked in the description. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any new Disney fun. Now let's get started. Good morning from the Newport Presidential Suite. We just went to the club and got, or the lounge and got some breakfast. Derek, what did you get today for breakfast? I got some food. Cinnamon bread, some pastries and pancakes. Lucas got some pancakes and sausage. Dylan, what'd you get? Um, strawberry yogurt, vanilla yogurt, a pancake and apple cinnamon bread. Nice. Mom got a croissant, a ham and cheese frittata, sausage, some yogurt. This is Lucas's. He had some hard boiled eggs and a pastry. And dad got some oatmeal and some muffins. Okay, everyone smile. Are we having a good morning? Yeah. Here comes the creeper. What it's are you here for? Right You're just here for the free ice cream, right? I don't want to leave either, but we do get to go on the wish. I'd, I'd probably rather go on the wish, though. Yeah. This is great, but I'm ready to roll. Okay, are you ready to head to the port? Your dad's ready to roll. Okay, goodbye, beautiful Newport suite. You boys ready to go? Let's head to the port. Goodbye, beautiful view. Okay, we're back to the car, aren't we? Where are you going? Uh, into a pool. Is this how we're driving to the port? Is this where you Is this our ride? Now the car's great. Excuse me, sir, do you have a license? Uh. We checked out of the beach club at 11 a.m. and headed to the port for our 12.15 port arrival time. We had rented a car so we stopped to fill up the gas tank before dropping the car off and taking a shuttle to the terminal. Where are we? We're at the terminal in Port Canaveral and we are going to get on the wish. Here we are. Hello. One of the fun things about boarding a Disney cruise is that they announce your name and welcome you aboard. This time we used our dog Ollie's name because the boys were missing him at home. A special thing about the wish is that kids are given a magic wand when you enter the Grand Hall. It's meant to help light up the chandelier, but of course, my kids used it to fight each other. So it's what you just got. A wand. A wand. And it can help light up the chandelier, doesn't it? And it turns you into a magical piece of food. <laughs> Boys, we just got on the ship. We are going to go get some lunch. Great stuff. After other people get on. in Marceline Market and we got our lunch. It's a little crazy but we were able to find a table. 
So let's check out what everyone got to eat. I got roast beef, some lamb chop, and broccoli. You went for the meat and the broccoli. Lucas, what did you have? Um, I have macaroni chicken tenders. And that is an interesting way to eat your macaroni. Okay. <laughs> Dad, what did you get? Chicken Caesar salad, some shrimp, some bread. Okay, and I got this charcuterie board, chicken Caesar salad, and some pot stickers. Derek is still gone. Derek, what did you get to eat? I got some food. You got some chicken tenders and some fries. That's your standard meal, that and macaroni, right? Let's taste it and see how it is. Does it taste like custard? Thick pudding-ish. Yeah. Awesome. Lucas, how was your Oreo cheesecake? I had a bite of it. It was really good. It's an, uh, it's an, uh, it's a crumb smell. It is crumb. It's crummy. I gobbled it up. It's crummy. Yeah, I gobbled it up. Okay. This is room 8566. Hey, I don't want solar panels. We're not trying to sell solar panels. Sorry. Not on the cruise. Okay, let's take a peek at what we've got in here. Do you want to show us what's in this door, number one? Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is a slide. I think it slides. Oh, here we go. So as you come in, this is the closet. There are some of the life jackets. There's a hanger space. This is the ladder that they'll get out when no, they this, pull No, this is the ladder so you can climb up onto the people above you's balcony. No, that's the ladder for the bunk bed. So there's that. And then we have another sliding door. The other side, there is more life jackets. With a laundry bag and a safe. Laundry bag, a safe, some more shelves. Oh, slide. Slide, slide again. And then we have the other life jackets and more hanger space. There's actually quite a bit of closet space in here. Yeah, like I can. It can fit one nine-year-old child in the dark. Okay, so our room has a split bathroom, which means the bathroom, num door number one for the bathroom has... A toilet and a sink. It's the toilet and the sink. With a garbage can and a towel. Okay, let me come in and take a look at the shelves and stuff. There's these little shelves to put things on. Garbage can. Okay, there is the bathroom. That makes it so nice, so you don't have to wait for someone to be out of the shower. Yeah. That's bathroom number one. Hey, oh! <laughs> you stinker. Okay, <laughs> this bathroom has a nice full-length mirror. Where, where Princess Ariel can greet you on your uh, on your mission to take a shower. Okay. Uh, there's a sink and then a full-size shower. So here's the shower. This shower is actually really spacious. On the other ships where you have the curtain, it seems like this is really small like that hub seems wider. Very nice and they have, it looks like still have the H2O toiletries. They've just put a little sticker on them. It's sneaky, sneaky, but we know it's still them. There's also soap there, Tissues. another garbage can, our favorite lotion, a makeup towel, and a mommy mouse clubhouse. <laughs> okay, before we get to the bedroom, there is some more shelves right here. Lots of storage. There is the TV. Here is the bed. We have Princess Tiana artwork in our room. It's very pretty. There's lamps on both sides. There's also a USB, two USBs and an international plug. There is a drawer. The lamp shades are cute. I kind of like the lamp shades on the other ships so though. It has like a map and I like that better, but those are still cute. They have hidden Mickeys. Okay, let's head over here and check out what kind of outlets are here on this side. There's two US outlets, two USBs, and a USB-C. Okay, I'm getting old, so I don't know all of the lingo for these different plugs. This is nice because when we get our luggage, that's where it all goes. It's totally out of our way. Don't have to worry about stepping on it. Okay, this couch will fold down into a bed and that is where Dylan is going to be sleeping. Then you get to look at Tiana. 
Up here is a bunk bed and our room host or hostess will bring that down every day when we're at dinner. And that is where Lucas is going to sleep. Okay, so the couch also has this nice little table. Then across from there, there's the garbage can. There is a vanity, the mirror. I think the mirror lights up. Lucas, will you come see if the mirror lights up? Yep. It does light up. There's some shelves right there. Over here we have more shelving and some Coke Zero. Okay, Dylan, you wanna open up the drawers so we can see what's in there? Okay, there's a drawer to store some things. This is the fridge. There's the refrigerator. Dad has already stocked it with our Coke Zero. He likes it out of the bottle. Okay, we've got the hair dryer. Um, is this where the hair dryer plug is? Over here, there's some more outlets. Yeah, that must be the hair dryer plug. Yeah. And there's some more USBs, a USB-C, and some US outlets. I need cabinets. There's a tiny little shelf, and another, oh, this is the drawer that had the oh, hair dryer. Like notepads okay, there's a notepad, some postcards. Pictures. We can send ourselves a postcard and from Castaway Key. Also, this is the breakfast room service menu. So if you want to have breakfast, you put this out at night. You say what time you want it delivered. You just mark that and then you can mark whatever you want. They will drop it off at that time and you can eat in your room. And you just make sure to leave them a tip. Okay, well, let's... There's also a trash can. There is a trash can. I don't know anybody who's a trash bag. Okay, so back over here, this is a Murphy bed, a twin size bed that will fold out at night. We'll take a video of that so you can see it. That's where my 16 year old is going to sleep. Right. And next to it, he's not sleeping in there. <laughs> there are lots of shelves. There's actually a lot of storage in here. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with this room. More than the other okay, let's go out and take a look at the veranda. So the veranda is nice. This is the door, but up here, I don't know if you can see, there we go. There is a lock, so you can lock it up there so that kids can't just open and close it unless you have really tall kids. But that is super nice. It's always made me feel a little bit safer knowing my kids can't just go out there when they're not there. Okay guys, we're gonna come out and check out the veranda. So which means our 16 year old's not gonna have attitude and dad's gonna be happy. So this is the veranda. It's actually pretty good sized. Does it seem bigger than the other? Yeah, we got well, kind of like an extended on, like, one. True. We're on the curve. So we have a There's little a bit. We have a little bit um, longer. So there is the view of the terminal. Right there. Yeah, we're on one of the homes. Okay. Before I forget, there is one more piece of artwork from Tiana. That is our room. We are excited to be here for the next three nights, and then we are going to switch to the other side of the ship. So we'll show you that room as well, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty similar to this. Hey, these are our Castaway Club gifts. We are gold, so we have the gold lanyards. And then there's this Castaway Club beach bag. Oh good, I thought it was gonna be fabric, but it's more like a vinyl, so that'll be good taken to the beach. And then we also got this wet dry bag. That'll be super nice to put wet swimsuits and stuff like that in. So those are our Castaway Club gifts. The Hero Zone is the indoor sports area on The Wish. This is where my kids spent a lot of time on the cruise. You enter the Hero Zone by going up these stairs near the entrance of Marceline Market on Deck 11. The main area is divided in two. One side is for basketball and the other side is set up for three games of cornhole. There is also a room with four ping pong tables. Come on, Lucas. No pressure. Oh, he hit it back to you. 
This is an actual tennis, so you gotta keep it on the table, please. I don't know what kind of game you guys are playing. Heading upstairs, there are a couple of air hockey tables. <laughs> there is also a billiards game and three foosball tables. Here's the ball. Here, it's, right, the ball. it's right there. Alright, so I call green. I'm white. Yeah, Alright, let's check out this tournament here. Easy. After the Hero Zone, we went next door to check out the Vibe, which is the club for teens ages 14 to 17. Here, this big giant couch, that's kind of cool. Well, we should get this couch for I know, we should get this couch. After the vibe, it was time for our first ice cream cone on the cruise. The wish is different than the other ships because it is not self-serve. The chocolate is my favorite because it tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. What did you just find? I found a rubber duck. You found a cruise duck? Let's see who it's from. Oh, happy Halloween from 12.30. Hey, what kind of duck is it? A motorcycle? Oh, it's a devil duck. Devil duck. Yes. Donald Duck's alter ego. Devil Duck? <laughs> you found a duck too? Yep. Is it the same people? Yeah. And that one's a vampire duck? Dracula. Or a... While we were on deck three, we decided to take the slide down to check out the Oceaneer Club. If I'm sending my duck, if this hurts, I will tell you. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's faster than I thought it would be. <laughs> My duck went fast. Yeah, yeah no. come down. Oh. That's faster than it looks, huh? Cool. Yeah. Right. I'm not bending down to do Come wash your hands. My back is going to be broke. Actually, fine, I'll do it. You on the other side. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's landed. Man, you landed in there. The Oceaneer Club is designed for ages 3 to 12. The club on the Wish is super cute. There is a princess area with a fun frozen game. The Mickey and Minnie Captain's deck was designed for little ones to play. This area was super fun and had a game where you could design your own roller coaster and then ride it. This is the Star Wars themed area of the kids club. After the muster drill, we decorated the door. The lights around the door were very helpful when trying to find our room. We then took a walk on the deck outside and my husband and I went to the Disney CZ Adventure Show while the kids decided to go swimming and take advantage of riding the aqua mouse with no line. Mm -hmm. 
Then it was time for dinner. We had the second seating for dinner, which started at 8.15. Our first dinner of the cruise was at the Worlds of Marvel restaurant. I think one of them is salt and the other one is pepper. Uh, Take no, it there's up. another one for pepper. Are you sure? Because there was holes on both of them. Take that out. See, there's holes on that other one too. What other one? So oh. I think one is salt. Oh, and one is pepper. not on my menu. You don't need salt. Did you look at the menu? Thank you. Uh, I'm probably going to get the wasp. What is the wasp? Um, mini cheeseburger. A mini cheeseburger? Okay. Dylan, do you remember what you're gonna order? Oh. Uh, the rosemary roasted beef tenderloin. Where is that at? Oh, on the other side. The rosemary roasted beef tenderloin. What are you gonna get? Pasta. Dad, what are you gonna get? I'm gonna get the white cheddar and broccoli soup, okay. as well as the chicken schnitzel. Chicken schnitzel sounds good. I am going to get the, I'm trying to decide between the lemon marinated shrimp and the bao bun. <laughs> and I'm also gonna get the iceberg salad, iceberg wedge salad and probably the ricotta and yoki. We'll see how it is. I'm Scott Lang, um, but you might know me as Ant-Man. And I am Hulk Van Dyne, the wasp. Activate. Whoa. Oh. Derek, you got the wedge salad? Okay. With a giant bite? How is it? Good. And we got our butter. These are our favorite rolls. We get extra of these at every dinner. They're the best, right? Yeah. And Dylan is clearing out the bread in the middle to stick the butter in. It's already in. <laughs> this is the bao bun. It looks delicious. Lucas has a cheeseburger, french fries, broccoli, Mickey ketchup, and no barbecue sauce. <laughs> it's funny Did you catch on to that? I Lucas like. has a cheese. talk about bringing quantum tech to a cruise ship. Look at this crowd. You try keeping their attention. Now look, that guy's... During dinner, Spider-Man made a special Please. appearance. You can always help Miss Marvel with clean up on the top deck. Um, or, how about a supervisor's While we waited for dessert, our server taught the boys some fun tricks. Got it. You did it. 
For dessert, Dylan and Lucas each had a Mickey ice cream bar, and the rest of us had the Pim Donut Sunday. We got the hippopotamus. That's cute. We've never had a hippo before. I just stubbed my leg really hard. Oh no. On the uh, side of the I, bed? I was climbing by the deck and then I slammed it on the wall. So I didn't know it was there. This is what our room looks like when it's made up for everyone to go to sleep. We've got the top bunk up here for Lucas. And the Lucas. word says when you wish upon a star. It oh, it's true. the fairy godmother. And it says, when you wish upon a star. So now you can wish. Oh, mom, there's a charging port up here. That's very handy. Yeah, there's a charging port right Perfect. here. Perfect. And then we've got the couch that is flipped over into a bed. <laughs> and here is the Murphy bed. All ready for everyone to go to sleep. You can feel the ship vibrating. You can, we're moving a lot. Day one is finished. Derek, what was your favorite part about the first day? All of it. You liked all of it? Yes. Okay, you just went and played basketball, right? With, Maybe. oh no, you played basketball and then they did the hero or what's it called? The Incredibles Do obstacle no, course? No, just did dodgeball. Oh, you just did dodgeball? Up in that, where the basketball court is? Yeah. Oh, cool. And it was fun? Yeah. All right. And Lucas, what was your favorite part about today? Probably... That's a tough one. Yeah? Definitely not the drive here. That was so long. Oh, the drive from Orlando? Yeah. It's about an hour. Yeah, roughly. What was your favorite part? The shuttle ride from the... <laughs> from National Rental Car? <laughs> it just scared me because I thought the luggage, because when we put the luggage in the trailer, I thought the trailer was gonna unhook because the trailer was made of wood. A little sketchy. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was your favorite part after we got on the ship? Um, the pizza, the barbecue, the ice cream, dinner at the Marvel, World of Marvel? Yeah, probably that. Dinner? Uh-huh. Awesome. That was really good, especially the uh, special marble rolls. Oh yeah, like the, the marble ones that were mm -hmm. raspberry, I think. Is what yeah, you raspberry. Said. But yeah. they also had food dye that were... I'm that pretty sure they probably skills. had some food dye in them, didn't they? Yeah. Okay, Dylan, yeah. what was your favorite part about today? Um, probably playing basketball. I like basketball. It's pretty cool that it's inside this time, so the sun's not in your eyes, huh? It's not as human. So you liked basketball? Okay, so that is it for our first day. It's about 11 o'clock and everyone is going to bed because what are, where are we going tomorrow? Atlantis. Atlantis in Nassau. So we will see how that goes tomorrow. Good night. Good night.